Hey everybody, welcome back to the first video of 2023. It's Paul from Midland Marauders here and first of all I want to apologise for there have been no videos for the last week and a half, I think it's been at least. Uh, it's just I've been really under the weather. I thought it was a bad bout of man flu but it turned out that it was full on Nurgle's plague. So I went to the local apothecary and he gave me a bit of an inspection with his Narthesium and I'm back on the road to recovery. Um, so I've got my water here, excuse me if I sound a little froggy, um, I might have to stop and take a drink, I'm off work for a few days extra as well, which is, I don't know, is that good or bad timing, but lucky enough, this package arrived, my birthday is at the weekend, and I was like, you know, let's uh, get myself a birthday present, this is something that I've been eyeing up for a long, long time, and, uh, well, not a long, long time, but a while, and, uh, I was like, yeah, let's do it, and I, I talked to, um, Mrs. Marauder about it last year I was like uh, would you be interested in playing uh, this if I uh, ever got it and she was like oh yeah so now let's call her bluff so in the box we have come on oh my god that's in the box okay so we got that open now we get that off in there at the sides and we've got some stuff there which we don't need to see and inside the box we've got all this look at all this stuff to get rid of because you know there's enough packaging after Christmas to get rid of let's get a little more we've got Necromunda the Anth our Aranthian succession Cinderac burning. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting the grips with that. Just get the plastic off, just keep the glare at bay. I know I'm a little late to the party. There's loads of unboxings of this. But this is my unboxing, and this is something that I've wanted to get for uh, for quite a while. There we go, it's such a cool cover of the Goliath gangs there. Asher there. This is cool. Look through it there. Cool picture of Cal Jericho. Anyway, we'll have another look at that in a minute. And uh, Inside the box, we've got Necrom under the ashway, so I'm just going to stop the video there for a second to get it out of this box, and we'll come back and open it up and have a look at it. Hey guys, so here we have uh, Necromunda out. So there is no cellophane that comes on this box. All that's on it is four little sticky tabs on each side, and you just have to nick them. So I've them nicked, and uh, now we'll open it together. Uh, I've not opened this already, so uh, let's uh, check it out together. Oh. Oh, just the sheer volume of plastic in this is uh, is cool. You get that lovely smell out of it as well. I love that that new smell you get from opening a, a brand new box set. I, I don't know, is it healthy to be breathing it in, but I don't care. Uh, so these are the, uh, the, the hab modules that we come. Really well detailed inside and out. Uh, and these are the parts that you can uh, sort of hook walkways together on so we get one two two of those sprues and we've got sort of a let's see what appears to be an accessory sprue where we've got like antennas tarpaulins or uh, awnings whatever we want to call them uh, we've got sort of gear and ammo and bits like that I don't know if you can see that there all strapped up outside, handles, radar dishes, all the really nice cool stuff. So it seems to be one of those sprues, for now anyway. Um, then we've got, uh, we've got our walkways and what appear to be uh, base plates for the hab modules, more of the uh, handrails. <coughs> Excuse me, there's going to be, going to be lots of that. Um, so we've got one, two of those sprues. Uh, 
And we've got more uh, hab module sprues here. Again, this looked to be the floor of the unit. All the little places to plug in pipes and things like that. On the bottom. Good. One, two, three. And we've got three of those. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's interesting. And we get our... Uh, our traditional Necromunda barricades and uh, tentacle beast thing, our ammo crates, our screens, uh, ammo stashes, grenades, booby traps, all the good stuff that you can inflict maximum carnage on the rival gang. And then we come, of course, to the gangs. Now, in this ga in this set, you get a. Uh, uh, they're like ash waste nomads I believe they're called and we don't actually know what they look like I suppose they're like Necromunda's version of the sand people um, but they're completely covered from head to toe in their robes so uh, it's really up to you to uh, you know to decide are they people are they are they xenos are they mutants um, they're the true natives of Necromunda and they take no rubbish, to be honest with you. So you can see uh, some of the sculpting there. As usual with GW stuff, the uh, the sculpting is amazing. The detailing is really cool. Like even down to this this claw. It's such an awesome looking claw. That it, you know, it, it, it could be... Like almost, it's almost animal-like. And you see how it... They've just put it over the uh, the nomad's hand, and he just puts his fingers in it. I'm assuming there's actuators in there to maybe strengthen it up a bit. I don't know. Missiles on the rack. There's so many little details on this. Absolutely awesome. So the nomads come on one, two. Are those two sprues the same? Let me see. Yeah, so those two sprues are the same. And it also comes with the giant, um, the, the bug riders or the tick riders. I don't know what we call them, but they're, uh, it, they wouldn't be my preferred mode of transport, but uh, they're absolutely really cool looking. These really long spindly limbs as they run around the ash wastes. So we got uh, two sprues of those as well. So the Ashways Nomads come on uh, four sprues in the set. Uh, it also comes with uh, House Orlock, uh, who are, of course, the mining house, and uh, these are equipped with. Uh, I've never gotten the Orlock sprues before, so forgive me for not knowing what's on them. But uh, it's absolutely awesome. Like the detailing is just cool. There's such characterful models as well. Like you see the, you know, they're fitted out there with their beards and goggles and their whatnots. Build them up any way you want. The power fist is cool. That three finger power arm. Like it's, it's totally cool there. A pretty badass looking John Rambo knife as well. Uh, so we've got two of those sprues again, the same. And it also comes with the brand new Orlock uh, buggies. Sorry, you'll have to excuse me. My, my chair it keeps squeaking under me um, because I gave my son my other ch review chair. So I'll have to get a new chair. Um, so this is a real Robotnik type head there. I don't know if you can see that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? A real biker type head. No. Better? Yeah, that's better there now. We can see it with the camera. And it comes with all these harpoon launchers and all sort of mayhem causing goodies. Again, we got two sprues of those. So uh, that's another four sprues for the. Uh, Orlock gang also comes with the good old templates 
lovely to see. Yeah. I love the fact that they come in this orange as well. I remember when they came in the that lovely green back. Uh, I can't remember what edition it was, but uh, I really miss the templates coming with the uh, Warhammer. I wonder are we going to be seeing templates again this year? Because uh, I don't know if anybody else thought it, but uh, those look remarkably like uh, blast markers that are coming for the store anniversary gifts. Maybe. Who knows? Anyway, we hit the uh, midway point in the box. So we've got the uh, little thing. Ruthless combat on a nightmare world in the 41st millennium. Necromunda. Ash wastes. And it's a, just a product shot of Necromunda. What it is, what awaits you. The different gangs. Everything that you can buy to expand your Necromunda experience. It's really nice. Then underneath we've got uh, we've got our our mat. Now that's the one thing I find that lets um, this down. Um, it was the same with the uh, the last Necromunda one that, that came out. The the this really light paper poster paper. I just don't like it. Well, that's a pretty big mat, though. I will say that. Um, that is quite big. Um, there is actually no way I will open all this out. I will. I'll open it out and measure it, and uh, I will tell you how big it is. Okay, so the gaming mat when it's open out, it's three foot by three foot, which uh, it's a bit of a bit of a funny size, I think. I um, I know the. Uh, when you bought the Underhive tiles or the Zomortalis tiles, they left. They were like a foot square. So I thought maybe that we'd get it like something similar. Anyway, this is a the construction guide and introductory gang lists. That's uh, pretty cool. Different ways to build the hab modules. Or like an ash waste gang nomads. That like this really is. For me, I wouldn't. I don't have. The, uh, the House Orlock book. So I will be using this if I am playing as House Orlock. And maybe if I am playing Mrs. Marauder in a few games at the start. We'll both run out of this. Booklet here just to keep it. To keep it fair. Keep it simple. For the two of us. And of course the brand spanking new. Hardcover. Necromunda Ashways through a book. Um, again. I've wanted the uh, the new rule book for a while. Um, I had the uh, the old one there, and I was reluctant to put it into my uh, my attic. But uh, now that I've got this, I don't mind putting it in. Also, get our counters and tokens. Which are pretty cool. Got our vehicle ones here as well. Awesome. Your arcs there as well. I'll have a quick look through the rule book, see what's inside it. Oh, something else here in the back as well. Oh yeah, oh, I love these as well. This is great. So it's um it's the reference sheets. I think every game should come with a reference sheet like this. Um I remember back Games Workshop used to give them away with White Dwarf. That you just pull it out and it had everything you needed on it. And then they stopped doing it for a while. But I see they did it again there at Christmas with the new White Dwarf. I was really happy to see it. Where it came with like all the different weapon types for uh, Horus Heresy and that sort of stuff. It just leaves life a little bit easier. And when you're playing games, things just, uh, you know, there can be no ambiguity. Things run smoother. Um, so it's nice to uh, maybe laminate these and protect them. So you get two of those anyway in the set. Hardback rule book, always nice as well. But you don't sort of get shortchanged with a little flimsy um, soft cover book and then you have to go and buy the uh, the hardback one later on because it has all the meaty stuff in it. So uh, this time around we've, uh, we're getting more into the ash wastes. What it is, well it's all the setting, who lives there. What's it? Why are they fighting over it? 
Most combat, your vehicle rules. Psychers and Necromunda. Ash Waste campaigns, the one we'll be playing. Uh, battles in the Ash Wastes. And all the different ways that the atmosphere on Necromunda can kill you, skin you, do all nasty, horrible things to you if you're out in it for too long. Put that aside. <coughs> and then at the very bottom of the box, we get a little pull out cardboard thing. And underneath, we get all our cards. Big deck of ash waste cards. Let's get them open. Oh, look, see what's in it. So we've got uh, our fighter profile cards. We've got uh, what's here? We've got tactics cards, ash wastes, trade route, ash waste campaign cards, and they're all ash waste campaign cards. <coughs> Excuse me. Also got our bag of bases. We've got our Necromunda ruler, which I won't be using. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. And uh, we've got our bag of dice, Necromunda dice, Necromunda dice. Um, nice dice. There's vehicle dice in here as well. The yellow ones are vehicle ones. The black ones are um, gang dice. I have my own uh, Necromunda dice, which I will be using anyway. But I will have to use the vehicle dice to see what happens at those. But, um... Yeah, guys, so uh, that is the uh, Necromunda, the Ash Wastes unboxing, first video of 2023. Welcome back, guys. I hope uh, you are having fun hobbying. Let me know in the comments section what you're up to. Uh, hit me up there on Instagram, on Twitter. I uh, I reply to everybody that, that messages me because uh, it's only right to, if you're taking the time to uh, to sit and watch the videos, then it's only right that I take the time to uh, to get chatting to you too. Listen guys, thanks to everybody that subscribed. Um, it means so much to me. And uh, yeah, listen, I'll catch you in the next one. Happy New Year guys.